Well, Alex Garcia, per your request, I searched and I found this base specifically for you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do exactly what you asked and I'm going to clear around the base. Using my overpowered Falcon, which I bought with 30 US dollars. Worth every penny. Now, I am actually, I took your advice on uh, one of the bases I actually took care of the every single node. And I mean every node. And it is far out overpowered still. Let me go ahead and show you. It's all the way over here. Right there. There's your boy. Which I've cleared the entire thing and your boy still sitting at. 650%, so, yeah, that one's, uh, you know, kind of doing its own thing over there while I let it sit and just not fuck with it. Why don't I use the Nemesis, because the Nemesis is rather equal in level to these guys. And so it, se it seems kind of unfair to be using anything over level. This is my glass cannon bullshit shenanigans. Oh, he got me. How did he get me? Teleported mid-death and shot me. Nana ham- <laughs> uh, I enjoy that far too much. I could also use this one. This one's really close in level to him. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. I forgot that's what I put on him. Dear God. Yeah, but this shit takes too long. See, the reason, Alex, that I don't do this, and I'm just going to call you Alex because you can't tell me no, um, is because... I just simply, why? Why would I do that when I can just fucking murder the base itself and get the whole damn thing over with? So I'm just going to make that point. And by the way, if any anybody watching this, feel free to comment. And in fact, I do encourage you to comment because I do take orders. I mean, I'm not your bitch, but if you have a video request, I will most likely, if I can find the damn place, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and use the freighter because Terran AX. And... Why is there no sound playing? Oh yeah, I turned off the sounds like listen music. And there's Big Jackass doing his shenanigans. Black hole generator coming in strong. You can see that's why I have that energy resistance. Was because I was farming in the Terran AX trying to take him down. And so, Alex, unfortunately for you, I'm just going to go ahead and skip all the shenanigans, and I'm just going to blow the living fuck off of this base. Yes, but I do heed your advice, and I do understand where you're coming from when you tell me to take care of that, like, like you did ask. Specifically because it is annoying to do it any other way. And I also achieved the absolute impossible, and I... Fucking mate, I don't know how I did it. I don't remember. I was sitting on the toilet, and this was like my 50th try trying to take down the Veneery base. This is true story, too. And I managed to take down the Veneery base with my level 65 Falcon. 65. Okay. It's only a 400% bonus 
against level 100 Veneri flagships, just like this one. And let me tell you, it was a fucking slaughter. I had to be so immaculately timed. I could not miss. I could not get hit with a single bullet out of line. Because that's how much damage they did to me. I had to become the king of dodging. And the thing was, I'm, I'm using a fragmentation bomb. Because, you know... That weapon is overpowered as shit if you get right in front of your target. And especially with the Falcon's armored fuel cells and how fast I could have gotten the Falcon. I had the Falcon at like getting ridiculous speeds going like 10 or 12 on forward speed, like 7 or 8 on turn speed. And I'm just zooming around slaughtering these bosses because the moment they spawn, I just get right up in their face and detonate those fragmentation bombs. Letting loose my entire energy cell in like two seconds. <laughs> and and of course I had like 200 energy. And so you can imagine that's... Yeah, that sounds about accurate. Letting loose in about 1.5 seconds. Just totally dropping the shitload on the enemy. Taking care of that. And so yeah, that's how you take down a Terran Egg base if you're lazy. Ooh, good loot, good loot, good loot. Did you look at that? Good loot. I could have created an improved item. But I'm gonna see what's in store. A drone. And a bunch of you. I'm gonna buy. I'm just gonna spend all the stars. Just spend them all. By the way, yes, you can obviously see that I am rushing the Terran egg boss. <laughs> I want, want deadass immediately. And I will have it, actually. I will. I'm going to attempt to. Glaive Mark 3s. Ooh. That could be fun. I want to see how overpowered I can make those heavy quantum torpedoes if I mount them on my flagship. Just get ridiculous reload speed and just start flying around the map firing off heavy quantum torpedoes. Valerie, yeah, I mean, that boss is got guns, but, you know, whatever. It's a meh warship. Very meh. Now, the Neganiri. I want you, Zeus. I would love a Zeus warship. I would absolutely love one. However. Veneri's ship is like. How much is it? Yeah. 227. The Neganiri's. Fucking 62 slots bigger. Which is absolutely ape shit. 62 slots. So. To put that in perspective. That is an entire. Hold on. That's bigger than an entire hatchet attached to my ship. That is the size of a goddamn oblivion attached to my ship. Well, maybe not exactly the size of the oblivion. Because the oblivion's plus seven, but it's pretty nuts. It's definitely not something you want to fuck with, that's for damn sure. Which one's pretty close? Zion? Z yeah. Zion. That's like attaching a Zion to my flagship. It's pretty... It gets pretty disgusting at that point. Then you're just like, whoa. Tasty. Especially because it can mount those deadly heavy missile mark twos. So that'll be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, Alex.